fellow eighth grade artists. The artist we often use it to start for other examples is Paulo Picasso, and we do that not because he was famous, um, he was an excellent artist, but it was because he did so many different various styles, as we've said before, we maybe talked about a little bit in seventh grade. And one of the styles he kind of brought back from a craft art with another artist, Brock, was collage. And I have noticed that a lot of collage, even back then, some of the early modern art collages used guitars and violin, even if they were in a still life format, as the subject matter. Here's one by Picasso, man with a hat and violin. And there's, of course, other examples that I'll provide on the Google Classroom of music and collage. And also assemblage. This is a book I have about Paulo Picasso's guitar series. And he also made a lot of them just in cardboard. The Advanced Art Group actually did some cardboard work with an assignment recently. Henri Matisse and later Romare Bearden also did a lot of music inspired collages, especially jazz. Also at the time, you see a lot of record covers like rock and roll records like Sgt. Pepper's and Revolver by the Beatles. And a ton of jazz records had either collage itself or collage type elements. In fact, I think there's a tie in between collage and cubism, and therefore collage would be very meaningful in the history of modern art. So here we have a great piece from 1975 called The Blues by Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden is the one who influenced this assignment the most. He was a Harlem Renaissance artist. And here's another one that's very small, but perfect for what we're doing here. And kind of like the three musicians, this one of the blues, which is actually around 1974. If you can see her singing, and it looks like kind of like a Louis Armstrong character, well, there's a better example of that on the Google Classroom for this project. Basically, we're trying to create the sound the idea of a song being played in the viewer's mind. And that can be done through the instrumentation. We did this a little bit last year with the three musicians assignment, if you got to that. And Romare Bearden did a lot of collages, but a lot of them were inspired and based on music. And I think a lot of times when an artist works in collage, it later uh, inspires and informs their other 2D or 3D work, even their illustrative style, which you saw with Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden might be my favorite artist besides Franz Marc. Um, sometimes I think he is my favorite artist. But he did a lot of collages. A lot of them were inspired by jazz during the Harlem Renaissance. So what I'd like you guys to do is I'd like you to create a collage inspired by music. I have a couple examples here. Again, I have a lot of examples at Cedar Brook, but I haven't been able to get in there. But I did find some that are on the Google Classroom. But here's one of a guitarist, solo guitarist, singer-songwriter in Virginia, and some of it's collage and some of it's painting. And here's assemblage, which the actual, the advanced art guys might have seen this, where it's cardboard and cardboard cut out, as you see here, with a guitarist. And I think the reason that collage lends itself to music so much in, in both fine arts and graphic design is that the whole process of collage is rhythmic. And then you add the melody of different colors. Um, it's impro improvising. So, you know, placing even the physical act of placing these colors and these shapes and these images onto the paper or canvas is like playing the exact the, the xylophone or, or, or the piano or the drums. It's very rhythmic. It's the whole process is musical, and music is a combination of things as it is. Even if you're a solo artist playing piano, there's words, there's melodies, there's chords, you know, there, there's different instrumentation. You have a two, three, four, five piece band or a 30 piece orchestra. Music like collage is a combination of things and it unif unifying into, into one song or one album or one idea or one form of expression. So I think collage really lends itself towards music. And I think that is shown the best through the art of Romare Bearden. Um, so maybe we'll check out some of the videos I've supplied on him. So what I'd like you to do in this project is try to create a collage. It doesn't have to be entirely collage. You can have just a few collage elements, use what you have things you can print out or things from magazines and create a song in the viewer's mind using collage or collage based techniques. For example, you could draw a, a person and then cut out in construction paper, the guitar, and then cut out from a photograph like the drums and then draw a person around there. You can combine uh, illustration with the collage technique, but I'd like you to, to be aware and have an awareness that um, collage and, and, and 
fine arts and design are, are closely uh, connected. And you, you'll see it a lot of times from advertisements to, like I said, record covers, and definitely in, in uh, artists' work on canvas. Okay, so that's a fun project. Um, try to express the type of music maybe that you like or you're interested in, or maybe even you play already. Okay, so thank you, enjoy it, and I uh, hope you guys are staying safe.